Let me show you how you can pair your smart bracelet smartwatch with Android phone. So the app you will most likely need is the FitPro app. Um, so 99% of the time this will be the FitPro app. But also if the FitPro doesn't actually work for you, uh, we can go to this uh, like more settings, click and hold the more and then navigate over to this QR code so and you can scan this QR code but again most likely it will be this uh, FitPro app uh, so then basically again uh, simply like search and install it and also before you op open the app make sure you actually have your Bluetooth enabled so this is actually very important as it actually uses Bluetooth as well as make sure you have your uh, location enabled and also you have like mobile data or Wi-Fi then we can simply open it, agree to this stuff, and again, uh, again, allow location and everything else basically. And then we are going to go over here to this set tab over here and click over here, bind devices to experience more features, allow nearby scanning, and then hopefully it should find as you see basically the phone for me. So you might uh, see different like name, but uh, yeah, they have like different model numbers, but real, in reality, they're really the same watch. So as you see, basically it can set your time and basically date automatically as you see. Okay, and it's really done. So we have our time, date and everything else. Also in this app, uh, make sure to go over here uh, to allow uh, the notifications from certain apps because for example, if you do not enable, for example, WhatsApp notifications, you want to uh, receive it. So make sure uh, basically let's enable that hello let's go back and again make sure to enable uh, the notifications from the apps you need and also over here uh, we can click the dial settings and we can change the watch faces as well here okay so if you want to change to any watch face simply click on it yeah just some random also, if you actually want to change, uh, for example, the picture, so you can actually uh, choose a picture, a uh, custom one as well. Once you click the change the dial, you can basically select uh, some kind of image from your phone, basically. Yep. <laughs> okay. And then click this synchronize dial. Sometimes you might actually need to click this twice. Okay. And then simply wait till it transfers that image. And once it's done, uh, basically, yeah, your <laughs> new image will be over there. And also, uh, we can go to the profile settings as well and click the user profile. Basically, and you can also change your, uh, yeah, your stats. So it can calculate uh, some of the stuff uh, better, basically. By, uh, also, by the way, uh, none of the sensors actually on this watch are real. So these are fake sensors. So if you like try to measure this, uh, blood pressure uh, or stuff as you see the lights will flash but uh, as you see I'm not even wearing it will uh, say I have perfect blood pressure and stuff like that so again it's complete fake so it takes the time as you see <laughs> yeah so it's a complete fake watch basically so yeah none of that sensors are real but still you can control music like do remote camera control if you click this and yeah, this like navigation also kind of sucks on it. Okay, for example, camera remote. Sometimes you actually have to open the app and make sure to allow this if it doesn't work. And then yeah, you can basically take a picture remotely here as well. So it's actually kind of cool. But again, yeah, just for simple basic tasks. Yeah, it's decent to see. Anyway, good luck guys.